heard this very insistent rapping at the door. Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go kill you. And I'm gonna steal your jewelry. I, I, I hope I don't uh, see uh, you when, uh, when I'm, uh, when you're uh, putting away your groceries. All right, Amy, Amy, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna stream me bowling sometime. All right? Just so I can show all these fucking losers how good I actually am. Hurry up. Oh my God. Don't rush me. I'm trying, okay? Detective discovers suspect's horrifying secret. 2018, Plano County Police Department received a frantic 911 call regarding a robbery in a retirement home. Plano 911, what's the emergency? We have a neighbor that we cannot awake. Is yes. Okay, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh already. I shouldn't, like, this is such a dumb thing to laugh at. We could not awoken her. I have a lady who is not awoken. You can IRL bowl stream, but only if you do bumpers. When the caller entered the apartment, they found the unresponsive body of Mary Bartell, a 91 year old woman. Police rushed to the terrifying scene, confirming that it resembled a robbery gone wrong. Days before the attack, a re Why is he robbing a retirement home? What? Residents had called the police she after spotting woke. a suspicious individual near the retirement complex. When detectives followed up on that information, it led them to Billy Shamir Mir, a 46-year-old healthcare provider who was living just a healthcare provider. What? Just 10 minutes away from the retirement home. One day after the robbery, what police officers weird... approached Billy Shamir Mir <laughs> at his apartment complex as he was disposing of a jewelry box. Matching the description of the suspect, he was arrested and subsequently taken to the Dallas Police Department for an interview. The detective knew that Billy had a history of DUIs, legal issues, as well as a series of criminal activities that eventually led to the- Is old people jewelry really that expensive though? Like, is it really worth killing an old lady over? Uh, woman, make it suspension oh. of his caregiver license. Hey, how you doing? I mean, I Don't yap. Yeah, what's your name? Billy, do you remember? What's your lesson? Do you remember? Do you remember? Yeah. Okay, hey, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. The detective here. I used to be a caregiver before. Oh, okay. Yeah, what kind of caregiver? I was, uh, like, caregiving, taking care of old people and in a nursing home. My master's was suspended for two years. So uh, I've been just being like, accepted. So I like, just like doing some great news or offer up. Is this app called, called offer up? And that's all you do for a living? So he's drop shipping? Buy and sell stuff? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. What kind of stuff like, do you buy and sell? Most of the things I buy is uh, like jewelry. During ah, the investigation, law enforcement encountered the problem that the crime scene offered little direct forensic evidence. The apartment of the victim, Mary Bartell, had been ransacked, with mostly her wedding ring and other jewelry missing. And even though Billy- I want to know why his license is suspended? Yeah. Shamir Mir had money and jewelry on him during the arrest, none of the items were linked to the victim. Oh! With Billy admitting to buying and selling jewelry for a living, the strategy employed by the detective was very straightforward. The reason I want to talk to you is, is I guess when they arrested you, you had some jewelry or something? That's right. So what you had on you tonight, where did you get that? Uh, or uh, I guess... Oh, the one that I had tonight? Yeah, when you got arrested for yeah. reward. When I was arrested, I, I, I just bought those like 20 minutes ago. Uh, there was this guy, usually, he gets me jewelry, and so I got this box. I look what I wanted to. I paid him his money, and I got the other box, uh, which I didn't want. I didn't throw it in the trunk. Okay. okay. Uh, do you know the guy's name? No, he doesn't tell you. The name is the Mexican guy. There are numerous cases where innocent people are in the wrong place at the wrong time. The only reason Billy was brought in for questioning was because he was supposedly seen in the proximity of the retirement community where Mary Bartell Hold had up. been residing. However, even when playing devil's advocate, it is not plausible that Billy is completely innocent mm -mm. and simply purchased his goods from an unknown middle <laughs> Mexican guy. <laughs> man, while being the only one to get spotted in the vicinity of the retirement Food complex. Food maxing burger pill chat? Let's Dude, get this brain this right out of here. Met, so we know that didn't happen. Okay. Get out of here with this burger they, maxing, they, all right? on surveillance. Honest. True. Chats burger nope. pilled. Really, I know it's hard to talk about. Okay. Yeah. Mexican guy, if that is your real name. Sometimes people do. Or do you, you think you're a bad guy? No, I'm not. You think you're a good guy, right? Yeah. As a good guy, 
you have to admit that even good people make mistakes, right? Oh, here we go. I've heard, I've heard this one a hundred times. The detective. Come on, we murder people all the time. I've murdered someone. You've murdered someone. You know, and then he got him. Boom, hook, line, and sinker. It knows that Billy made a revealing mistake. Upon his Glute arrest, maxing. jewelry, money, and other items were found both in the dumpster and on Billy Shamirmir. Both Billy and the detective know that none of these items were related to Mary Bartell. However, upon further investigation, another victim, 81-year-old Lou T. Harris, was revealed to the detectives. Wait, another victim? Just like victim? Mary Bartell, Lou T. Harris's residence was located mere minutes from where Billy Shamirmir lived. Bro, you just going around killing old people? Dallas police visited her address immediately, knocking on the door to no avail. What Eventually, the they had to break in and force entry, only to find the lifeless body of Lou T. Harris. Under Jesus. any other pretense, this would have been interpreted as a natural death. However, the truth was much darker. On March 20th, 2018, Lou T. Harris entered a Walmart with Billy Shamirmir closely following her. Well, there's your first problem, walking into a Walmart. As she went about shopping for groceries, Billy Shamirmir stayed close to her. While Shamirmir admitted to being in Walmart on March 20th, he denied interacting with Lou T. Harris. However, his presence next to her was far from coincidental. Not only was everything perfectly calculated, but he had also been waiting in the parking lot for hours, oh. scouting for an elderly person to park in the handicapped spot, looking for the easiest victim. Wow. When detectives what a loser. investigated the crime scene at Lou T. Harris's house, they noticed that she didn't even have time to put her groceries away before meeting her tragic fate. Similarly, Billy Shamirmir meticulously followed Mary Bartell from Walmart, driving to her apartment and breaking in just minutes later. The big jewelry box that you told me about, mm -hmm. that you threw in the trash can, mm -hmm. we know where that came from. <laughs> you can, you can, you can butt, butt me all day, Billy. I'm Got him! Got him! Look, I'm not, I'm not trying to trick you. I'm not. Okay. I'm just coming at you on. Uh, I'll check. I'll check it out after, dear buddy. Honestly, right? Well, you're gonna go to jail for murder. Okay. What? You're going to jail for murder. Say murder. Yeah, for murder. You have a million dollar bond. You're going to our jail. Damn, that bro just like straight up went for us. Like, hey, yeah, you're getting arrested. Yeah, you're arrested. Million dollar bond. You're fucked. Here you're in Dallas. Okay. She jail for murder. Yes, in jail for murder. I, I did not murder anybody, and I was not in that house. We got a KTM too. Nice ass bikes. Yeah, I need. I need to take. I need to take my bike on the trail. This makes me want to ride. I did not. You know, I disagree with you. I think you've probably done this before. Say what? I think you've probably done this before. Then what? What happened tonight? What? Bike killer. I told you why you're going to jail, right? For murder? Yeah, like we said, I've yeah. done this before. Well, people don't just go do that kind of shit no. for the first time. Wait, what What did he say? Well, people don't just go and do that kind of stuff for the first time. Murder? Doesn't everyone? Wait, what do you mean? What? Uh, th doesn't most people kill for the first time? <laughs> I mean, come on, what are you, a rookie? What are you, a rookie killing someone for the first time? What are you, a pussy? Come on. Jesus. Is KDM 125? But the engine is big board to a 144. Yeah, I have a I have a Honda uh, uh, 250 rally. For the first time. Mm. Wait, I've been killed food? twice. <clears throat> what time is it? 840. Bro, what? What is he wearing? Why does he look like he's like in a spacesuit? Eight in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Do you know why you're in jail right now? The, the other detective told me uh, last night. What did he tell you? Said about murder. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about that? Uh, that that's shocking me. Well, we're here and have been here trying to talk with you to better. Yeah, I can imagine racing that shit would be real expensive. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, you're distracting me. Talking about motorcycles and shit. Damn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and if you're not going to be truthful with us, I'm, I'm then let, let him finish, please. If you're not going to be I'm truthful sorry, with yeah. us, Really trying to no, you're fine. True understanding. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. And you're not you peaked my interest. with us. So then you're going to have more charges coming against you. I am. Have they not like search for DNA evidence? I don't know. It's like, 
This is the fastest I've ever seen an investigation. Like the dude walks in, you murdered. You're going to get, you're going to get tried for murder. I mean, they just know where the jewelry came from. I guess that's good enough evidence, but. Okay. Well, I'm calling you a liar and saying that's not true. Not only was it obvious that Billy had I been calling you a truther. the entire- I can't say that anymore without feeling bad. Got any Drake and Josh quote is now just met with depression and sadness. Her interrogation, but Mary Bartell, the victim who prompted the investigation, miraculously survived. Oh! Her testimony proved vital for the detectives in piecing the case together. Old lady she wins! she provided clear links between the attempted murder on her and the murder of Lou T. Harris. Old lady wins! I heard this very insistent rapping at the door. Hey, yo. Yo, I'm about to rap at you for a second. Bro, is that even... <laughs> He's just outside the door. Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go kill you. And I'm gonna steal your jewelry. Uh, uh, I, I, I hope I don't, I, I, I hope I don't, uh, see uh, you when, uh, when I'm, uh, when you're uh, putting away your groceries. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Bars? Officer, he had bars. The door was opening inward. I didn't have any And I'm afraid of a friend of ever to ever separate but to friend of ever to success in pushing the door shut. So he was inside and he said, Don't fight me. Lie on the bed. He just smashed a pillow down hard over my face and my chest and i i just couldn't breathe he was just using all his weight to keep me from God, that's terrifying. from breathing at all when you came to okay carbon spin that shit with the point on i've been touch of what what cancel me i don't care cancel me cancel me i don't care you point what in the top what what were you missing on your hands um, I was missing my engagement and um, my wedding ring. And the wedding ring. Oh, Detectives know that the missing jewelry from all the victims was the biggest clue in the investigation. Their best strategy is to push this narrative and dig deeper. Is this the one that you so impulsive? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Looks like that one? Yeah. That ring was hers. Bro, why are you trying to shove it? on your finger like just take a picture of the ring by itself like don't show your grubby ass fingers on there we know you were there it looks almost like that but not i don't know if it's that one i have unattended deaths i have suspicious deaths of women mm -hmm. every time these unattended deaths Garmin, happen, break it down rings are missing this is the first time you've ever heard of anything like that yeah. sure and do you Surely. think it's a coincidence that we have phone records putting you in our complex on dates that we find our people deceased with missing jewelry and you sell jewelry? Yeah, but uh, what I'm saying is... Is that odd? Is that... Is nuh -uh. nuh uh Dude, just pull out the nuh -uh strat. It always works. That, yeah, it sounds weird. That's, that's odd. That's what it is. That's the of the day. It's what? That's what I was telling you. That's the question of the day. Question of the day. Yeah. Bitch, don't fucking laugh. It is unusual to witness a murder suspect being so chatty throughout the interrogation, laughing and showing no signs of remorse. However, this was only the tip of the iceberg. Detectives unveiled CCTV footage from a pawn shop that Billy Shamirmir frequently- God, I thought he said porn. Anyone else? Anyone else thought he said a porn shop? Dude, this is why British people suck, man. This, this is why the British accent is terrible. Pawn. Pa porn. Like, what? Well, what is that? What is that? Porn. No. No. Pawn. Like, gee. <laughs> Disgusting. ...shop that Billy Shamirmir frequently visited to sell the stolen jewelry. Fucking he was British described people. as <laughs> jovial, smiling, and chatting with the employees mere hours after killing his victims. Jesus. You know, you seem pretty happy. I mean, you don't seem very upset that you just got told that you had a no. murder case. No, I don't, I don't like that. I don't need any or nothing. I better go in there. Well, of course he's smiling and happy. He has a lot of money now. There's no truth. You know I'm saying? You, you go ahead and what? I better die for the truth. I know. Do you know anything about our suspicious deaths? Nope. Are you willing to tell us anything about it? Nope. I don't know nothing. 
You know what I'm, I'm not saying? being I hateful. No. I feel like British people uh, can can be hated on. All right, it's it, we're allowed to hate on British people. Okay, guys, like they have that weird accent. Like just talk normally, talk American. You know what I mean? Like what is that? <laughs> because they're what? Come on, I'm I'm allowed to do it. I'm allowed to do it. So why can't I just do it? Following the interrogation, ability, Sh Shamiria was booked to jail and charged as capital murder. His trial was set in November 2021. Opening <clears throat> statements take place tomorrow. You guys can make fun of my accent, because I know I probably have like a little bit of Southern in there. Oh, in the murder trial of a suspected serial killer, prosecutors said he posed as a healthcare or maintenance worker and then suffocated ahead, the women. It. Fox 4's David Centendry is live now with a preview of that trial. <clears throat> David. Why do you... Why does he kind of look like Eminem? Am I crazy? That's an awfully odd coffee pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not. Yeah, Heather, the trial Prior to the court trial, detectives and prosecutors conducted extensive work reviewing the deaths of dozens of elderly women. That's why the UK hates USA people. <laughs> we won the war, all right? We won the war. Cry. Cry about it. The police asked the public for further Don't information. Don't drink your tea. Fearing they were dealing with a serial killer. Mary Bartell, Lou Thee Harris, and Mary Brooks were all confirmed as victims of Billy Shamir. Three! There's with, three of them? With Mary Bartell being the only one who survived. However, though initially only three victims were suspected, detectives soon realized that elderly people had been dying left and right under similar circumstances. What the fuck? The evidence was not only- Is just his regular everyday thing he does? Overwhelming, but body cam footage also captured family and friends of the victims, some of whom were attentive enough to notice that jewelry and personal belongings were mysteriously missing. Your grandmother? Okay. Yeah, it looks like she's deceased, okay? <laughs> Right. Yeah. When you got here, was the door locked? Did you? Yes, it was unlocked. Yes, okay. Well, there's just a few things that are missing: single solitaire, and then three marquee cut diamonds, uh, kind of off who it is. Okay, and if she wasn't like, wearing it, and she was not wearing it. Okay, and so it would be. Wow, he just, this is just like a regular thing for him. It's just going into old people's. How was he getting away with it for so long? I guess multiple murders. I know it's old people, but shit. In the safe that you're that's no, missing. No, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Yeah, she no. would have. It might have been on her finger. If not, it would have been in. I think in her bedroom. But yeah. we can't <laughs> find it yes. anywhere. To Billy Shamirmir's advantage, it was difficult to distinguish the exact cause of death for most of the victims. Many were elderly with pre-existing health conditions, complicating the case to the point where the defense had plenty of leeway to argue that the deaths were of natural causes. On top of that, they claimed that most of the evidence was not based on DNA findings. Their whole theory of their case is wrong. God, uh, I just, I would hate to be a lawyer. Imagine defending someone who murdered like four or five elderly women. Like, just imagine, imagine being that, like, oh, God, disgusting job, dude. I would hate it. I mean, I'm sure they get paid a lot, but Jesus. Walmart, 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 Walmart. But see, they want anything that Mr. Schreiber does, it's nefarious. Woo! What's he doing there? He's got to be watching. Ask yourself, what does it mean? All bark, no bite. Oh. This is a dumbass defense. Are you serious? The, what? Your defense is, oh, you guys keep connecting the dots. <laughs> uh, pff, uh, stupid. You guys are dumb for connecting to the dots and like putting two and two together. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, did they pick this guy up off the street? What is that shit? All this stuff. It's evidence. Mm. And when that verdict is a verdict of guilty, it will be loud, it will be proud, it will be justice, and it will be nothing and no amount of surprise to this man right here. Please bring back a speedy verdict so that we can put an end to this. Contrary to the defense's arguments, prosecutors were certain they were dealing with a serial killer. The testimony of Mary Bartell was essential during the trial, yeah. revealing that before she was attacked, seven of her neighbors had died under mysterious circumstances. Seven? 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 
seven. Seven? Seven? Stances, all of whom had missing jewellery. In the end, Billy Shamirmir was accused of killing 22 elders. Are you talking? 22! 22, bro! What? That is, that is a high-key serial killer right there. 22, bro. Holy shit! Elderly women over a two-year span with some sources claiming he was responsible for more than 24 murders. Dear Lord. With his first conviction in April mm. and his second in October 7, 2022, Billy Shamirmir was indicted for 22 murders. However, shockingly, he was only convicted of two. Our justice system works again. During the trial, prosecutors focused on the murders of Lou Thee Harris mm. and Mary Brooks to build a strong case. The absence of direct forensic evidence made it difficult to prosecute all 22 murders, leading the families of the victims to file civil lawsuits later on. I was told that she died peacefully in her sleep. She was 83 when you killed her. Even her doctor called me and she said she didn't understand. She just had a physical. I hope the last thing that you ever see... Say it. ...is a pillow over your face. Let's go! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Fucking say it to him! Say it with your chest! Yeah, get him! Like my mother saw. Billy Shamirmir was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole Thank and God. was placed in a maximum security <clears throat> prison. On September 19th, 2023, around one year after being convicted of double- Did he kill himself? Bull capital murder, Billy Shamirmir was killed by his cellmate. Oh, that's even better! Let's go! By his cellmate? Okay, at least he didn't take the cowardly, cowardly way out. Hell yeah, he got murdered! Let's go! He got what he deserved! Prior to his death, Shamir Mir had allegedly made sexual comments about his cellmate's family, taking the true number of his victims with him to his grave. <sighs> Karma's a bitch! Now it's time to walk away I hope you enjoyed your stay Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribed? I'll thank you either way You know I will miss you I hope you return Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.